What do you say when your seller wants to overprice the listing? Hey, it's Todd from Success in Real Estate. The market has shifted. Days on market is increasing, inventory is increasing, and the list to sales price ratio is lowering. It's become far more critical to be able to properly price listings again. Let's talk about the conversation that you need to have with your seller when they want to overprice the listing. So you ran the numbers and you hopefully work together to try to determine price. Now the homeowner is saying, well, let's start a little bit higher. Hey, can we just start a little bit higher? And then you're going to say this. What outcome are you trying to achieve by pricing your home higher? What's the outcome that you're really after? And then you say, let's try to come up with a solution together. It's likely they want the most money. And that's your opportunity to explain how overpricing it can have a counterintuitive effect or consequence, where by pricing it lower, you're going to drive demand and the price will therefore go higher. However, you might uncover that the outcome they're trying to achieve is that they're just scared and they don't know where they're going to go next. They might be pricing it higher to buy themselves time. Well, we're not in a hurry, Todd. We don't really know where we're going next. And you would say, awesome. Well, let's talk about how we can price your home effectively to give you the most demand, but also give you the most control where you're going next. I have strategies that can help you accomplish all of this. You see, asking the right questions help you discover your client's needs and it allows you to better serve them at the highest level. If you need help in having effective conversations with your sellers, send me a message, I can help.